What's up guys, this is the player boss here. Well today we'll be doing a review now. I'm gonna show you my own ships that I've designed and created. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back and let me show you my very own ships. And this is the ship I've designed for the past few months. Well, today I've upgraded it. This is the Ga Galleon Escort, I think, and slash sign ship, and has a turret, and when it goes to warp, it basically goes like this. And now this is a torpedo foe. Now, everything on here is basically has phaser banks and a turret bank. And when we take this off, let me just pop this. And voila. This is one of my designs over the past few days or so. Now this is where I go to warp. And we take off the equipment for ships I've designed. Hold up. Now this is the moment that we've been waiting for. This is the major component to our key design to our stir ships. Well up when it's all is dropped. Okay. This is the artistic, the, this is the Galleon Escort slash cruiser, no, 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 slash, start, science vessel. Now I'll show you my other ships. Now this is the Galleon Warcraft, War, War little craft a deflector array and a tachyon beam pulse and a turret which i frequently use this was a design that i've used to connect the ship but not anymore so oh, this is where i where it goes warp or stuff i don't know what it is but let's go to the onslaught of it the other. Now this is the warship. It's communications array to communications array and a 
turret and so and a shell bay and that's pretty much it. If you wanted this signal, I'm sure sure that you'll appreciate it. Now let's go on to the next one. Now this is the escort slash tactical vessel. It's maneuverable and has tuna cells and basically I I kind of made this design to look perfect and all. Well that's basically it. Let's go to the next one. Now this was the first ship. It was designed to be a Republic cruiser, now it's a Galleon class. It's a Galleon cruiser, and it has many ships, defense capabilities, and turrets and all stuff. And we have a shuttle bay right here, and right here. And this is the command center. We... I don't even use it anymore, so I'm just reviewing this, so that's basically it. On to the next one. Basically, it's kind of a tactical cruiser, so if you want to see one of my videos, leave a like. This is a science renovation class start cruiser. It has multiple defense capabilities that you would know of. The command center is right here, right here, and right here. Two commands and power relays. It can you could you activate the shield grid to the power relays and basically you have full control of ship. Well this ship is at least more powerful. That ship is powerful. That ship and this ship and design and the other part and the that ship and the spell ship. Now on to the next one. Now this is the Explorer class start gal galleon. Basically, we use it for Star Command. We use it for diplomatic missions and technical missions and exploring missions and stuff. So, on to the next one. Basically, we use it for... This one, for instance, for... Grenade... Grenade... Grenade torpedoes... Cra crawling te torpedoes and photon torpedoes. And the phaser banks are basically right here, right here, right here, all of it, right here. So next, on to the next one. A, this is one of my designs I used to make, and now when I, when I, it was like this, and now when I put it like this, it won't go on, oh, I wonder it. Because the power relays are off. Here we go. That's pretty much about it. Is a this design is to the engineering class. Basically, what it could do is repair ships and do it as, as if necessary. On to the next one. No, this is the most heavily guarded ship in the entire warp, entire capabilities of this ship. Three cannons, and uh, right here is the command. Is the commanding? Is the deck? Is the bridge? And. What I do is, if the sh it's a dreadnought, of course. It, every ship has a cloaking frequency. Well, this here is, is it has a cloaking frequency that cannot be 
recognized by any vessel except for the Galleon Republic. Like, the Galleon Republic is a sort of sort of humanoid organization. Well, they, they're trying to make a peace treaty with the Cyber Republic for attempting to give the Cyber Republic some credibility and warp and warp capabilities like warp 19 for instance or warp 30 it's designed to attack attack Borg and every species that are hostile even the authority and all of it like even even the separate republic enemies and the Galleon en enemies are the basically the Korean Empire. The Korean Empire is where is a humanoid species are liberated as a where they like one of the leaders. They they have like officers. They they use mind control to mind control them. So the Galleon the Galleon Republic attempts to to deactivate one of their mind control species such as Vulcan, Adorian, every species are allied to the to Starfleet itself. Where, where the Galleon Republic comes from is like what is the several republics. Universe. And it has like dimensional frequencies and it can like go to any dimension or universe. It can go like every ship. No, no, no offense. No joke. Well, I'll see you guys when I beat you guys. Goodbye.